Earlier, I spoke to John Helvig, an expert on Russian law. He gave his perspective of Putin's declaration making Crimea part of the Russian Federation. Putin's speech of today doesn't need so many comments because he was very clear uh, about what has happened, what is the situation now, and uh, and what will be Russia's position uh, in uh, defending its geopolitical interests and also uh, its uh, compatriots uh, abroad and precisely in Ukraine. I'd like to get your reaction on what the international reaction has been to the uh, results of that referendum in Crimea. There has been a huge propaganda war uh, against uh, Russia a decade, which has increased and increased and increased. Now uh, we had the Sochi situation, and after that, uh, uh, this Ukrainian uh, situation, everybody can see that the Western press uh, has a completely one-sided agenda against Russia. They are not reporting what is happening in Ukraine, uh, Crimea, and Russia. So uh, what is the reaction of the Western press uh, uh, to Crimea referendum? It's the predicted uh, uh, condemnation uh, with uh, I would say pretty clearly with a lot of lies. And John, I'd like to get your take on these reports that a Ukrainian soldier was shot and killed in Crimea. Could that bring about violence in the region, seeing as it's been fairly peaceful there so far? Well, yeah, now that there's a situation that Ukrainian uh, troops are still in, in, uh, in Crimea. Now they are asked to uh, leave. They can uh, peacefully leave, and who wants to stay uh, to serve uh, the Crimean uh, army can stay. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's horrendous uh, that the Kievan uh, government is, uh, is uh, encouraging those soldiers to, uh, 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 to fight, because, of course, they cannot win uh, uh, that war in Crimea if they weren't. So uh, it's, it's completely useless uh, to have those uh, uh, young people uh, die uh, for the Kievan uh, regime in, uh, in Crimea. But yes, it, it might be a, a way to provocate uh, a bigger war.